Hello again. Um, welcome back from Abe and Alessandro. And we are here um, looking at what things we like about OpenRender yeah, and OpenRNDR and, and how are things a bit different in processing sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to show you how um, sometimes are really easier somehow in OpenRNDR if you are yeah. an advanced user. Yeah, some uh -huh. things are, I would say, higher level. Yes. You, you get access both to lower level and higher level. And higher level. Exactly, correct. And what does that mean? That, for example, yeah, there is some, a lot of built-in functionality. Yeah, and convenience methods. One yeah. could, uh, yeah. a, a lot of abstraction, one can say, that mm -hmm. allow you to uh, reason at a higher level. Yeah. Um, um, which are very convenient. Mm -hmm. okay? We also do understand that for uh, that we both went through the lower level version of doing all this computation on our own, mm. and we suggested to beginners yeah. to get their hand dirty with you know possible way of computing areas of a rectangle yeah. or a length <laughs> or whatever. But when you are implementing some stuff, you don't find value in going through these no, things yeah. over and over True. because you have done it already. Yeah. So it's nice to have that already implemented. And one thing I had in mind is that to really see the value, I think, of OpenR and DR, mm -hmm. maybe you have to totally, completely first go through the... 100%. If you're given just open R and R first. Mm -hmm. Then you say, oh, why this is, you have to type more. And yeah. But, but yeah, if you first have struggled with things and then you realize, oh, Completely. this is. Completely. <laughs> and also it will make also a needed knowledge for you to know how things are implemented. Mm. Because the moment, you know, you will face limitation also, not limitation, but uh, lack also with open render. Yeah. And you'll have to go and implement some stuff yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't have this background knowledge that you built, mm. what, what are you going to do? Yeah. Go around and say, people, please implement this function <laughs> that, you know, I don't know how to, uh, to do. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what is that now we want to show? We want to show something very, very simple. We have a circle on this mm -hmm. uh, pink background. Yeah. Okay. And imagine we want to do something like um, create position leader circles, mm -hmm. like 10, hmm? yeah. equally spaced mm -hmm. on the, on the um, circumference of yeah. this, on the circle mm -hmm. of this disk. Okay. So what would we do? So for we need a loop. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm counting from one to ten, mm -hmm. or from zero to nine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna find the, the location on that border mm -hmm. using polar coordinates, yes. like sines and cosines. Mm -hmm. And at the end, I'm gonna draw the circle, whatever I calculated. Mm -hmm. So let's, for sanity, uh, have a variable called the radius, mm -hmm. and in this case, it's not two hundred, mm -hmm. because a circle in processing. It doesn't accept the radius, but a diameter. Okay. So uh, remember this. Yeah. Um, radius. So it it has to be a radius times two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know if this would be the diameter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you want to specify the radius, then I no, I I would do I would call the radius ten and then uh -huh. two times the radius. Right. <laughs> Makes more sense. To me. Much more sense. <laughs> Much more sense. Okay. Cool. Radius times two. Uh, and here I was yeah. doing the polar coordinates. We have to calculate the angle. And we need to multiply the radius for the radius. Yeah. And ah, why did I put... We need the bigger radius, the, the radius of the bigger circle. Right, right, right. right? That's 200. Mm -hmm. Okay, so should I make another variable? Yeah. Float main radius is 100. Mm -hmm. So main radius mm -hmm. times 2. And then we multiply this here, mm -hmm. and radius times mm -hmm. cosine. And now we have to define the angle. The angle. Mm -hmm. The angle, let's see, we, we're going to use i. Mm -hmm. And the uh, here it works in, in yeah. like 2 pi is a full yeah, term. So i divided by 10 times 2 pi, right? Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, 2 pi times I could do i divided by like this. Yeah. Yep. And this radius is not to be confused with this 10 and this 10 are, mm -hmm. just to make it clear, mm. <laughs> the radius is 12, 
but the mm. count is 10. Mm. Because we have 10, we should see now 10 points equally spaced. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, there's different ways we could do this in, in OpenRNDR. Mm. I'm going to delete this just to make sure we have the same program. Right. Um, so we we could go. The, let's go the same way, the same route, mm -hmm. but by using polar. Yeah. And then we can show sampling points mm -hmm. on the yeah. circle. Okay. So I will add those variables just mm -hmm. <laughs> as a, a bit of comparing mm -hmm. uh, how it looks like Kotlin yeah. and Java. Mm -hmm. uh, we can specify them as pal because they will not change. Mm -hmm. Radius is 100 and we don't have to no. specify the type because uh, it will infer it but already something interesting we are using floats or actually double yeah because a lot of um, open render functions accept doubles there's two two reasons also in uh, or another side to this mm -hmm. in in processing mm -hmm. uh, integer values are can be converted automatically to mm -hmm. floats you don't have to specify here yeah. dot f because uh, implicit cast the id yeah. does this um, but here uh, yeah mm -hmm. open r and they are always work with doubles so it's mm -hmm. higher precision mm -hmm. is though twice the precision of a float mm -hmm. okay so we have those two and you see that there are no semicolons in court. no semicolons no. even if now i keep typing them <laughs> yeah because i yeah. was doing this a second ago uh, main radius Mm -hmm. Good. So count. I like you don't like using repeat, but I, I uh, find no. <laughs> you know, I'm getting uh, recently. I've written some stuff with oh. some repeat in it, oh, wow. and I was like, mm, okay, <laughs> I understand why. Okay, so uh, to 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 be fair, repeat is useful when you are not gonna use the index variable, but you are. Ah, I just like, use it. Ah, right. <laughs> uh, but you don't have to specify it. It gets passed as an it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's a the advantage. Is two times pi, Kotlin mm -hmm. math, uh, times mm -hmm. it divided by 10. Mm -hmm. So there is no two pi declared. Uh, we just do two times pi. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this is if okay. Let's do it first with cosine and sine, and then we can use polar. And then we can use sampling. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. I uh, know even like the same approach, but yeah, yeah, yeah. polar coordinates because there's a polar data type. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can do cosine. We yeah. can do polar yeah. the class, and sampling. but then we can do sampling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Well, x is this is just re this is really just uh, repeating the same strategy. Yeah. But okay, now we can use. Uh, um, what can we use? Oh, I don't know, with divided by two, mm -hmm. for example. Or it would be a bit long, we could get draw the bound center x. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to propose something else. Something else? Yes. What is I it? want to propose a vector 2 called p. A vector? 2 called p. Uh -huh. Okay. Then you have drawer bound center mm -hmm. plus a vector 2. Ah. A vector 2. So we. We store the center somewhere or no? Uh, no, 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 dot no. pounds dot center yeah. without an X. Mm -hmm. I want a P here, which is a vector to, to not X, P. And then I want to add, like uh, yeah, uh, no, P. Uh, no, uh, P, only P, the letter. Only ah, the P. <laughs> letter and P. I want to add to it uh -huh. uh, a vector 2. Ah. So we should, yeah, okay. ST. Vector 2 made of cosine of A and sine of A. Mm -hmm. And then I want to multiply by main radius. Mm -hmm. A. So this starts showing something. Starts showing some uh, vector arithmetics that we can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, it's almost very. I mean, I find it very easy to read. Or the first time that yeah. I was faced with it, I find it very easy. I mean, vector two clearly mm -hmm. creates a two-dimensional vector. Mm -hmm. Okay, with x and y um components given by cos cosine of a and sine of a yeah. and then this thing happens i can multiply yeah. on the right with a number and mm -hmm. i'm scaling the vector yeah this is a double and it will get multiplied by exactly. both of them exactly in and so instead have, of we have condensed these two equation these mm. two uh assignments in a single one yeah see this would be if you couldn't multiply mm -hmm. vectors times mm -hmm. Scalars, mm -hmm. but you can. So then you can. And it's this. very readable and very intuitive. Yeah. We have used uh, a convenience uh, somehow assignment, which is the center of the box, mm -hmm. um, 
and um, and yeah, yeah. Good. Now we just have to draw draw a circle or the location P, and we used here radius, radius, radius yeah. and that's it. Yeah, let's see if it works. Uh, Very good. Oh, we have the same. Very good. Okay, very Same good. Design. So now I also want to, uh, in this spirit, mm -hmm. I know that we won't use polar, but uh, <laughs> allow me this little bit of tangent, okay? Yeah, yeah. So we have that drawer, we ask for a, an object called bounds, mm -hmm. okay? Which, I mean, which is, we, we, can, we can know it's a rectangle. Yeah. So if I create a rectangle mm -hmm. and I substitute the drawer bounds, Mm -hmm. with the new rectangle, mm -hmm. I have the suspicion that I can move this picture where I want. Yeah. So let's, what if we made a rectangle? Exactly. That's uh, exactly what I wanted to I'm do. I'm going to call subrect. Yeah. Is going to be drawer bounds sub. Oh, you want to, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to take, for example, the left half. Mm -hmm. This is already a um, uh, higher level <laughs> type of... Uh, so, yeah, so this sub rectangle is actually the rectangle that covers the screen. I start at the top left corner, 0, 0, mm -hmm. and I go halfway, so basically this is the center, mm -hmm. and to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So now if I do uh, these two times, draw a bounce, I do sub rect and sub rect, mm -hmm. then we will have this design. Exactly. Uh, so centered on the left those, half. So this shows how can you reason abstractly mm -hmm. by saying, okay, this circle actually is inside a bounds, mm -hmm. and wh uh, wherever the bounds is, and in the, it's uh, created at its center, yeah. and so wherever this box, this bounds will be, my new rectangle will be. Mm -hmm. And I find this very, very useful to reason in this way. Yeah. I'm going to make it visible. <laughs> so we can see that sub rectangle. Yes, exactly. Yeah. This would this would be the sub rectangle. Yeah. Okay. We can now sub rect just uh, use uh, drawer bounds and we are back to mm -hmm. how we were before. Boom. Mm -hmm. But now it's white. So. Yeah. <laughs> I removed the yeah. re background rectangle. Perfect. Okay. Now another possible way to uh, to do this. You see, in in this case, we had to create these. Uh, um, vector mm -hmm. from an angle mm -hmm. with a given radius. Yeah. But we have a convenience method yeah. for this. There's a way in which you need to know less about mm -hmm. trigonometry, mm -hmm. which is using polar coordinates, mm -hmm. um, which this expects uh, an, an angle, angle and a radius. A radius. The radius is going to be our main radius. Mm -hmm. uh, but the angle, the angle now is not anymore in radians. No. But it's in degrees. Yeah. So it's 360. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh, and we need, okay, convert. right. So what is polar? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So basically, what is polar? Polar is an abstraction mm -hmm. for uh, something created from uh, an angle and a radius mm -hmm. to materialize it as a vector mm -hmm. in um, two dimensional space. Yeah. We pull this Cartesian. Yeah. Um, basically property yeah. attribute. Yeah, in, in other words, we normally draw in Cartesian space mm. in which we use an mm -hmm. X and a Y to define positions on the screen. Right. Um, but this is a different space, which is mm. like curved. Exactly. So let's, yeah. for instance, let's show them other things that you can do with this class, like... Uh, with polar? Yeah. Like what else could you do? Well, you, you can get the radius, you can get theta. Mm -hmm. um, well, then you can add them. You can and then, yeah, you, mm. you can have... Normally, these these red one the red one are functions, and uh, yeah, the violet are called v for variable, basically mm -hmm. m for method. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, this is a maybe simpler mm -hmm. way. I don't know. Some maybe some people are used to working with uh, angles. In but it's a little bit of a boilerplate yeah. that you have to create. Yeah. No, uh, my point is, like, many of these methods use angles between 0 and 360, ah, which okay. can be somewhat yeah. easier to think yeah. about. Like, I think most people know what is a 90-degree turn yeah, yeah, sure, or 180-degree. Sure, sure. To be honest, I never understood. I mean, I would, 
I'm comfortable with the radiance. Mm, so me every too. Time I have because to we've done this for many years. Yeah, exactly. I have to yeah. remember that this yeah. is in degrees. Yeah. Um, but but okay. Mm -hmm. And then there is now a third way. Mm -hmm. There is you know the the Jedi way <laughs> to 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 do it. Yeah. Like in uh, in the world of Open Render. Yeah. And it's too simple stuff. Yeah. Uh, so the way we would do that instead of this, we would create first the circle. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can create here the circle we want to work with. A circle um, entity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, with the same parameters we have here, mm -hmm. uh, we have to import the uh, class. Mm -hmm. Now, we could just draw that C, which is the circle we have created. Mm -hmm. But we can also, uh, we can convert it into a contour. Mm -hmm. Um, so the contour is the geometric realization of the curve, basically. Mm -hmm. It's like you take a pen and you... Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of... Uh, segments. Poly lines yeah, it's or a poly like line, yeah. little segments, curved mm -hmm. segments. And you can... Uh, a circle object always represents a circle. Mm -hmm. But with a contour, you can represent anything. Mm -hmm. It could be a square. It could mm -hmm. be a dancing dinosaur. Yeah. doesn't matter. Um, and here contour that we can sample no equidistant. No, equidist equidistant position exactly so you can tell it how many points you want so Correct. instead of having to calculate everything on our on our own mm -hmm. we can just say grab this thing which is a circle currently mm -hmm. um, then get the contour of that circle mm -hmm. And, and then give me give 10 points. Equidistant, uh, spaced, yeah. uh, equally spaced. Uh, and okay. now on those points, we could draw circles, for mm -hmm. example. Or and now, for instance, we, can, uh, we see that we not only have circle, but also we have circles. Mm -hmm. So it means that if we pass, yes, um, a list of points, then this should give more or less the same result. Yes, and it gives exactly the same results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe we can show also something like suppose we wanted to have uh, circles that get uh, uh, smaller uh -huh. and then they grow. Uh, animated, or do you mean that these circles have different sizes? Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. How we would do it in uh, processing uh -huh. and how we would do it ah, okay. in so open render. Okay, so each of these circles has a different size. Mm -hmm. So basically, here. Instead of a constant radius times two, mm -hmm. we could have, I don't know, multiplied by uh, k, mm -hmm. and this k changes. Yeah, exactly. So float k, I could say that the minimum size is going to be 10% of the original, mm -hmm. plus, I don't know, like uh, some mm -hmm. increase in, uh, they're in steps of 0.1. Yeah. And if I run this and I remember to add a semicolon, then yeah. I. Uh, we have the first tiny circle is 0.10 mm -hmm. of the size and yeah, increasing. Yeah. Now, how could we do this? Um, so now we can no longer use circles mm -hmm. because this expects uh, equal radius. Well, we can use or circles. Is there if, a if you do radii, uh -huh. I think if you pass a list okay. of uh, radii, mm -hmm. it will match them. Uh, let's now, see. for instance, how do we know if what I've, I mean, many times I say things that are not true. So how <laughs> do we know that these things are these things? It's true, we can poke the code mm -hmm. and see what type of argument circles. So this is just showing me this, but of course, one way is to control yeah. click. And we can and see there here. And list of double. List of double. And I was correct. Okay. <laughs> so now, like, we have to, we want to create this radii. Yeah. How can we do it? We should, in principle, go do a for loop if yeah. we were in, you know, in uh, a world where lists were not mm -hmm. uh, for citizens, mm -hmm. we would have to create a for loop yeah. and access the, the value of the list and then apply this formula that you wrote. Right. But we don't need to do this, actually. We can do map. Okay. Yeah. Right. We can do, we can do points dot map. Mm -hmm. And uh, but wait, no, no, maybe it's uh, map indexed. Map index, so there is no much advantage. Yeah, yeah. But okay, well, uh, we can show this first. Yeah, which is because then yep. we have the index. We yeah. create yeah, yeah. a Let's number show this first. Yeah. of mm -hmm. 
because then mm-hmm. we can change the problem here and make the radii mm-hmm. change according to the x y uh-huh. the, you know yeah. the x and yeah. then it may become useful to oh, <laughs> i made it too small mm-hmm. because this is actually the multiplier mm-hmm. so i wanted to do radii times radius or i know or i can no no you have to multiply, multiply here, it here. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, radius times this, mm-hmm. which was k in the other program. And then run it and yep. huh, but all the, the orientation. Probably I'm starting, I don't yeah. know if I switch here, cosine and sine or yes. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, super. Mm. Um, but now imagine that we want to change the size of these, uh, the color. Mm-hmm. of these, uh, not the color, no, I don't want, the size, uh, according to the X position, okay, okay, of the center of the leader radio, mm-hmm. okay? So we don't have K anymore. Right, we get yeah. rid of K. And, but we can use X mm-hmm. in some way, okay? So let's say, I don't know, X to the power of 0.1 or mm-hmm. something like this. See, there are going to be rather num- big numbers because CX is yeah. 300. Yeah. I don't know. We could we could do also sine yeah. of X. Yeah. And But sine is a number between minus 1 and plus yeah. 1. So... You can restrict it to minus 1 and 1. Uh, if I add 1.1 1. 1 plus mm-hmm. sine. Oops, I tried to save. So this way... Okay, good. Some are bigger than others. So now... I, how can we do it on the <laughs> other side? Now it's not convenient anymore to use list mm-hmm. of an integer, right? But we can use map. Yeah, we can do points that mm-hmm. map points. Points. <laughs> so basically, what is this map that we are showing you? I mean, we did actually an episode on this, yeah. so you can retrieve on uh, on this format. But in a nutshell, it's a um, basically a way to map a list into another list by by operating on the each element, okay? Mm-hmm. So in, in this case, IntelliJ is telling us that ET is a mm-hmm. vector 2. You have to multiply by the radius. Um, yeah. Exactly. So you can see that on the left, the code that is written is much more structured. Mm-hmm. So it's logically clear yeah. what are the operation mm-hmm. that we are doing. We are first creating points, yeah. then radis are a function of points, mm-hmm. like they come with points, yeah. and uh, and then we uh, draw them with a single call. In the right program, then you would have to write comments to explain what are you doing, exactly. ideally. Exactly. Uh-huh. And it's to me, it's less clear by looking at it, what you're trying uh, to do. Like the code is less conceptually organized mm-hmm. and lets the ideas yeah. Uh, less, less transparent in a certain mm-hmm. sense, okay? The left program shows that radii depends on points. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it actually, it's a map of points. Mm-hmm. So it tells you that you are taking points, you are transforming it into something else, and then you are drawing. Mm-hmm. Where the right-hand side, you have to know what the algorithm does. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's easier at the beginning mm-hmm. because you don't need to know map. Yeah. You don't need to know... Uh, you know, uh, you don't need to know this more uh, higher level approach. Yeah. But uh, in 20 days, <laughs> you'll probably thank us <laughs> because in 20 days, when you, you look the code on the left, it will be immediately clear yeah. what's going on. Yeah. On the right. Yeah, this is one of the things I like about Kotlin is that I find I can read my programs later and I understand them. Because the point is that the language helps you uh, structure code that is uh, logically executed in a more expressive way. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, for instance, I don't find like the code on the right expressive. Yeah. Because it's more in a way lower it level. Yeah. yeah, it's lower level. It works. Yeah. But it's not expressive. Yeah. Which is this thing that we were mentioning at the beginning. We find beautiful, yeah. Like the yeah. fact that for me, the code on the left is much more beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's more elegant and whatever. Yeah. We are not talking about performances here, anyway, mm-hmm. because every time you talk about performance, there is always someone there says you should write this in assembly, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. But for instance, this is an an example of how the same task, how the same task looks 
into the two different uh, framework. Yeah. And I think we can pause yeah. and then come back. <laughs> okay. See, See you, you in the next episode. Next one. Take care.